Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi's center-right party has just suffered a painful setback as their incumbent mayor of Milan has lost her bid for re-election. Letizia Moratti ceded victory to independent leftist candidate Giuliano Pizzapia, who garnered 55% of the vote in an election which many commentators have called a referendum on Berlusconi. Milan is hometown to the Prime Minister, who has become increasingly embattled in court cases recently, facing charges of corruption, abuse of power, and underage prostitution. Members of the political left were ecstatic over the victory and pledged to do all they can to improve the city. Today, naturally, we have won, and now we have a majority in the Milan City Council. We will do all we can to respond to the needs of the citizens who have put their trust in us. We will be working hard for the future and to give satisfaction to those who have elected us. A post-election celebration in Milan's Piazza del Duomo drew an exceptionally large number of young people. Younger voters are among those who feel most alienated by the current administration and they are demanding changes. Milan was poorly managed under Moratti's leadership, starting with things like cleaning the streets, improving public transportation, the schools and so forth. We hope that Giuliano Pizzapia will be able to resolve these problems that have been afflicting the city and that Milan will be able to take its rightful place as an Italian and European capital. Milan is the second largest city in Italy and is economically considered the most important. The city is undergoing a massive facelift as it continues its preparation for hosting the 2015 World Expo. The citizens of Milan have spoken and their voices call for change. With Mr. Pizzapia as their new mayor, they're sure to be changed, but to what extent will be seen only in the coming months and years. Michael Stone, Web News 3, Milan.